change or development. And in a world that must change as a process of destruction, we are taught to ignore the inevitable. Since I was in seventh grade, my life hasn't stopped changing. I became so caught up in what people thought of me that I was willing to change everything about myself just for an opportunity to be loved. And when life quickly became real and I was constantly losing people, losing my identity, and losing purpose, I automatically blamed change. I was 12 when my parents got a divorce and I internalized all my feelings because I thought it would stop the things I couldn't control. I was 14 when I went to the hospital for overdosing on medication because I felt like everything in my life was moving faster than I could focus. I was 15 when I was sexually assaulted by someone who I thought was my best friend, someone who I loved. And I walked out used and so uncertain of how to move on when it seemed like everyone else in my life had done so without me. I tried to take my own life again because I thought the only way to stop movement was to stop moving with it. But that just meant that I stopped growing. I'm 16 now and I know this. I still struggle every day with accepting change and accepting loss because I get so stuck on what could have been or what I could have done instead, but the truth is that change is the only thing that's guaranteed. And we need to teach ourselves and teach others that just because the things we know have moved, it doesn't mean we've shifted too far. It means the picture is changing and the puzzle pieces have to move with it. What we can do is grow. We're not always going to move forwards, and honestly, I've spent the last five years moving backwards. But I know that I'm still here for a reason, because as long as I'm moving, there's a part of me growing into the person that I'm meant to be. This is an original song I wrote called One Day I'll Be Alright. <laughs>
day I'll be 